Speaking of big, they are the true seats of power, but you won't find them in the halls of Congress, in corner offices with a view, or in the White House. It's for the real big game. Mike Hagedis is on the money, so strap yourself in. One hand here, and one hand here. Okay. Even on dry land, you get a sense of power one, just sitting there, but yeah. then, hey, that's not the, the point. <laughs> this is fighting chairs, the thrones of the fishing world. From them, anglers battle the biggest the ocean has to offer. The fish have their fins and the power of the sea. The angler has his boat and the leverage of his chair. When was that tipping point? When did you sort of decide, or you and your brother decide, that you could actually make a living doing this? Well, I don't know if we ever decided that. <laughs> Frank Murray, it was he and... Oh, that's my brother and I when... <laughs> when we were when you kids. had hair. When I had hair. <laughs> His brother Ed, who has passed away, that built the family name into one of the best known in the big game fishing business, the Murray Brothers. Climb aboard any of the tens of thousands of multi-million dollar fishing boats across the world, chances are you'll find a goodly number of Murray-made fighting chairs. It is a business with its roots. That was probably 1958, I would say. In their cabinet shop in Huntington, New York, producing stairs for a place like Levittown, the cabinet-making Murrays would spend as much time as possible fishing off Long Island. Big game tuna. Ed, in particular, was a world record holder. There wasn't too many chairs, fighting chairs, that could hold up to it. So we knew what we wanted. And they built it, and have been ever since. They moved their operation to West Palm Beach, Florida, started the first ever catalog sales operation of offshore fishing tackle, and built the Murray Brothers brand into one of the best known in the business. And then sold it, keeping Murray products as the manufacturing arm. So what's it like having a family business? Um... Now it's kind of nice because I can get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Murray has turned the business over to his sons, Vinny and Mike, and his daughter, Lynn. And what the next generation of Murrays are doing is returning to their roots, still making fighting chairs, the newest technology developed oh, yeah. with the help of NASA, for an electronic chair capable of handling new, bigger boats. The boats are getting bigger, they're getting faster. And they're getting more expensive, fancier, driving demand for Murray's newest product line, custom teak and exotic wood furniture. It's a business that has come a long way from Levittown. We did pretty well. I mean, I can't, we didn't get rich, but we had a damn good time. That is being rich, isn't it? On the Money, Mike Hegedus, CNBC, West Palm Beach, Florida.